Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I will introduce you to one of the game-changing elements of Cost Calculator Builder, Element Page Breaker. This element is a pro feature of the Cost Calculator Builder plugin that allows you to create step-by-step -step or multi-step calculators. Instead of showing everything at once, this element helps break down the calculator into multiple pages, making it easier for users to navigate the steps. To add a page breaker element to your calculator, drop it into your calculator at the desired location. In this case, the calculator will be divided into two pages. Later, you can add additional page breaker elements to create more pages. Similarly, you can use dragging and dropping to add, reorder, or remove elements from these pages. At the top of the elements, you can see the settings of the page breaker. It consists of two tabs. In the first element tab, the navigation style for the page navigation section of the multi-step calculator can be modified. There are seven navigation styles available for now. You can also hide the page title according to your needs. Use the previous section to see how it will look on the front end. In the settings tab, there are three settings that you can play. The first one allows you to display the total summary field at the end of your calculator. Note that it will not be counted as a separate page in that case. However, after the last page it will be displayed. Show total summary on a page. This setting gives you the clickable button that will be positioned at the bottom of every page of your calculator and opens the total summary as a pop-up. You have to indicate which total formula fields should be displayed here in this total field element area. If you hover over a page, you can see the buttons to move up or down the page, delete the page, or open the page settings. If you delete the page, elements inside of it will be automatically moved to the next or the previous page. Now let's talk about the page settings. Page name. Enter a title for a page for easy identification. Previous button label. Customize the text for the button that user will click to go back to the previous page. Next button label. Customize the text for the button that user will click to proceed to the next page. Page box style. Choose the style for the page box. Available options include full width, which expands the page breaker to the full width of the form, and two columns, which will split the page into two columns. And here comes the most important part of the page settings, conditions. The conditional logic feature in the multi-step calculator allows you to create dynamic, responsive forms and calculators that adopt based on user inputs. If all or any of the following conditions are true, the calculator will execute the action that you specify here. Experienced users of our plugin already know how to use conditions. You can watch our ultimate guide about them in this video. Anyway, let's see how can we use it. First, choose one of the all or any options. All, the action will be performed only if all conditions are true. Any, the action will be performed if at least one of the conditions is true. Use this button to add new conditions. Choose the element for which the condition will be applied, then specify the condition using the condition option and value field. Note that conditions vary by element type. Select the action that will be executed once the condition is true. Available options are Skip next page. In that case, calculator skips the next page in a sequence. Do not skip the page. If the conditions are true, the button next will be disabled, so the user cannot skip the page. Jump to. Directly jumps to the selected page. You have to indicate this page here. Good job! Now you know how to use the page breaker element, so let's implement it in a real case to upgrade the pizza ordering calculator. This is how our calculator looks now. You will add pizzas with radius and quantity, and then you will choose drinks and indicate the delivery info. Let's break down this calculator into three pages. The first page will be for pizzas, the second for drinks, and the third one will be for delivery. In this case, I will add the first page breaker just before the available drinks, and then I will add another page breaker to include the delivery options. It doesn't matter where you place the formula fields. Let me speed up the process a little bit. Open the page breaker settings. Enable the setting to show the total summary on the last page and choose all formulas to show. This is the result of our change.
Rename all pages accordingly and I would like to set two columns as page box style. Let me speed up the process a little bit. This is the result of our change. Great! Now let's use the conditional logic of a multi-step calculator to upgrade it more. I will add an ordinary checkbox to the pizza page and I will add an option called I don't want drinks. Let me go back to the pizza page settings and add a condition. If the user selects the option I don't want drinks, the action will be jump to the delivery page immediately. Alternatively, you can set the skip next page as an action and you get the same result. See how it is easy to split the flow of your calculator using the page breaker element. If you enjoy, smash a like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.